Hi, my name is Dean Ressler. I have taught different Discipleship Institute classes in the past, and this fall I'll be teaching a class on ethics entitled Ethics for Today. The world is doing its utmost to try to push us in the direction to be conformed to them. And the world that we live in has no moral bearing, no North Star. And so it's important that we as believers know the direction that we need to walk, even though it might be contrary to the, to the world. And so we're looking at ethics from a biblical perspective. Hi, my name is Scott Allen. I currently serve here at Cedar Crest as a biblical counselor and a life group leader. And I have the privilege this fall of teaching a class called Getting to the Heart of Marriage. I'll be co-teaching with uh, Pastor Adam on this topic. God designed marriage to uh, glorify Him, first of all. In addition, marriage is designed to have a sanctifying influence on the husband and wife, and that's what we want to focus on in this class. Ephesians 4, 15 and 16 reminds us that we're to speak the truth in love so that we can grow in Christ-likeness. Husband and wife can do that in, in a marriage relationship, but it, it takes uh, some courage. <laughs> it takes being willing to work through problems. It takes being willing to be honest. It takes being willing to uh, confront our own hearts. Hi everybody, it's Pastor Jason here. I'm excited to teach during the upcoming DI class session, and I'm going to be teaching the LEAD course in particular. LEAD stands for Leaders, Elders, and Deacons. And in this class, we're gonna look at three things in particular. The first session will include systematic theology and the doctrines of the Christian faith. And then secondly, we're gonna look at church philosophy and how a true church should run according to the scriptures. And then thirdly, if there are brothers in that class who feel called and qualified to lead the church as an elder or deacon, we're gonna split up those classes and we're gonna have a track for the elders and also for the deacons. While taking this course, doesn't mean that you have to become an elder or that you are guaranteed to become an elder. What you will gain from the course is a greater understanding in Christian doctrine on various things, the scripture, who Christ is, salvation. So you will grow in faith, but also godliness as we study this particular topic. Do you understand who you are, where you came from, why you are here, where you're going? Even more so, what's wrong with society? What's wrong with your neighbors, your family, your friends? What's wrong with you and me? This fall, we're gonna to seek to study humanity, a tale of two images. And we're gonna look at the image God made and then the image we made. Because unless we understand how God designed us and why he made us, and then how we perverted that design and perverted that purpose, we really can't understand the gospel, God's grand story of redemption, of rescuing mankind. So join me, Pastor Chris, this fall as we study Humanity, a Tale of Two Images. Hi, I'm Rick Whitmire. I'm one of the elders here at Cedar Crest Bible Fellowship. Uh, in this session of DI, I'm going to be doing Church History Part 2, The Reformation. We'll be looking at the Reformation through the eyes of the Reformers. The idea is to understand where the church deviated and why the Reformation was necessary and how we even come out of the Reformation. But I think this is important to understand where we come from and where we are going. Even if you weren't in Church History Part 1, you can join us in Church History Part 2, the Reformation.